Hi ladies and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm doing a basic and simple makeup tutorial video for you. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm actually a very laid back and casual type of girl and not really a everyday makeup wearing type of lady. However, I do still make an effort every now and again to put on a nice clean and basic makeup for the day especially when I'm going out with Daniel or family and friends. So here's a few steps on my basic and simple makeup routine. Just quick before we continue, if you are new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and also click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my next upcoming videos. Now back to the makeup. First off, I apply a primer like Clinique's Universal Primer or Smashbox's Control Primer. Now the reason for the primer is actually because I have a very oily skin. So the primer helps to control the oil and the shine of my skin and it also helps the foundation to stay on longer throughout the day. Then after the primer, I apply foundation. You get a bunch of different foundations but the one that I like to use best is actually a matte foundation once again because I've got a very oily skin. Good matte foundations are Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. Another favorite of mine is Estee Lauder's Double Wear Makeup because it gives a full and smooth coverage. Now if you don't know how to match foundation to your skin tone I'll link a video for you at the end of this one that you can watch. And for those ladies that don't like foundations, a color tinted moisturizer is also a perfect option. I like to use a loose powder to help set the foundation that I've just applied. Once again, this is because I've got a very oily and shiny skin. So I like to keep my powder with me in my bag at all times. Just brush it over your face and neck where you applied the foundation and then you can move on to your eyeshadow. Now if you don't like to wear eyeshadow, it's okay, you don't have to. But I like to add a light shade of brown to my top and bottom lid because I feel that it gives my eyes just a pop of added color. Depending on the color of your eyes and also the shape of your eyes, Eyeshadow can actually help to bring out your eyes just a little bit more. A while back I actually went for permanent makeup for the top lid of my eyeliner as well as my eyebrows. If you'd like to know more about this then just pop me a comment in the comment section below and I can maybe make a video about that sometime. So with my eyeliner I basically just apply a dab of liner to my ready tattooed eyelid and then I smudge it a little bit. I like to use a brown color during the day and sometimes black at night. Before I had the permanent makeup done on my top lid, I would just draw the eyeliner myself with a pencil and smudge it a little bit. And then I would sometimes take liquid eyeliner just to add that bit of a wing. Now, as I said before, I had my eyebrows tattooed because when I, <laughs> when I was in high school, I actually plucked my eyebrows myself and it was really thin and really skew. So as I got older, I wanted them to look more fuller and bushier and also longer and thicker. Hence, I got the permanent makeup. So because I put on foundation, the brows look a bit faded. So all I do now is I take a brow liner pen and just add in some color to them. After I'm done with my eyebrows, I will finish off my eyes by adding mascara. And it's really important ladies to have a proper and good quality mascara. The reason for this, if it's old and cheap, it will definitely clump up on your eyes and then form flakes on your eyelids which does not look very great. A personal favorite of mine is L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara.
Now, there's no specific reason for this, but I've just never really been a person that wears lipstick. I would buy a tube of lip lipstick and then four or five years later, I would still have it in my bag. However, it does round off your makeup look nicely when you add a pop of color to your lips. So instead of using lipstick, I usually rather opt for something like a tinted color uh, lip balm like chapstick or something similar. I've added some of my best recommended product links for you in the video description below, so make sure to check them out. Now there's a few other steps that you can also include in between these steps that I've mentioned, like concealing, uh, contouring, blushes, um, even smoky eye eyeshadowing. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to keep it very general and basic for a nice, clean daily makeup. If you have any other questions or video requests, please put them in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.